morning, YouTube. Welcome to the homestead. You can see that up there. That's a lot of geese. Looks like they're coming back from south. Maybe spring's actually coming. So it has been a while since I've talked to you guys. This past weekend, we were at a basketball tournament down in Indianapolis. It's the National Christian Homeschool Basketball Regionals, I think is what it is. Just north of Indianapolis. It was a good time. Uh, we could have played better, but we had a good time. So I didn't take a whole lot of video down there, just trying to hang out with my players, one of whom is my son, uh, and watching some of the other teams. We had took four teams, yeah, four teams down with us from our program, which was a lot of fun. In the meantime, Chaz helped me milk, which was great because you guys know right now, Hope is not eating enough for me not to milk. So you can see over there, Prudence is waiting to get in and see Hope. I've still been keeping them apart at night just because it's cold at night and I don't want the other animals to push her aside. I want her to have enough warm area to stay. I'm thinking pretty soon here. Problem is it's supposed to be down in the teens again in the next couple days at night. I might start letting Hope out during the day with Prudence and then closing them up together at night. I'm not sure. Kind of taking this by the seat of my pants. Anyway, let's go milk. Hi. Need to get these guys, the goats and red, out of the way so I don't have to worry about them. The other evening, red was being a knucklehead dropping his head at me. Get out of here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Go. Move. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Okay. He looks like he wants to be a knucklehead again. So we'll grab a fence post. And normally then he just backs up and I can just touch him on the... Come on. Let's go. Move it. And he goes, which is fine. We normally have a pretty good working relationship. Sometimes he's a little bit anxious about getting food. Come on, where's the last goat? There we go. Um, so I just bring this along with me to make sure he stays out of my way. So I just give these guys a little bit here, a little bit there. It's more or less just to occupy them for a minute so I can close this gate. Close them to the ground. Okay, so they're, they're over there eating. I'm going to close this, I'm going to need to the end, so I'll see you guys in the milky part. Okay, hey, Mama, should we go in there? Yeah. Oh, look who's here. Hi, Hopi. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning to you. See the little buck teeth? I think that's the funniest thing. She kind of lifts her bottom lip up and is like, hey, let's go. Okay, sorry, let's go. Oh, I missed it. She just did a, a jump kick. She kind of jumps and then kicks her back legs up in the air like, hey, I'm out, I'm happy, hooray. Maybe she'll do it again. Oh, she looks like, there she goes. Come on, Prudy, let's get in there and we'll get you some, some feed. Oh, I didn't plan very well. The bucket that I need for her is way over there. And my arms aren't that long. So, again, I'm gonna grab two hands and get this started. Yeah. You guys can see I've already started milking. So has Hope. She's down here eating. She normally milks out that quarter, the uh, rear passenger side for me, um, <clears throat> which is fine. I don't know if you guys can tell. So like, if she's already emptied out enough on that side where this side is bigger. So I'll have to finish this side, but so far so good. All the milking. Prudence is getting a little bit better at not freaking out when Hope is out of her sight. Um, <clears throat> Hope wasn't in the milking parlor when I started milking, so I left the gate open so she could get in. Then when she came in and started nursing, I didn't close the milking parlor gate so she could get out. So, and of course she just come. So if I'm sitting here in here milking, this is what I can see. Hope goes whoop, 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 back and forth. Just enough to, you know, get Prudence's attention. So it's pretty nice this morning. I'm gonna leave them out for a while, see how things go. Um, I've gotta get stuff inside, 
and get myself inside so I can make sure the kids are doing schoolwork. So it is later in the afternoon. It's about, that's actually lunchtime. Um, I'm coming to see what Hope and Prudence are up to. And I actually don't see either one of them. I'm kind of thinking, I wasn't going to plan on going in there. So the question is, do I go in there? Or do I just check the milking parlor camera? Oh, there's Prudence. I can see her now. I bet you Hope's over there too. Let's see, I don't see Hope on the camera. She must be over there with um, with Prudence. Let's go walk over here and see if we can get a view of them without going in and getting all muddy. There they are, right there. I'll try to zoom in on the editing if I can. Um, Prudence was laying down and just chewing her cud. You can see her still chewing her cud. It looks to me like Hope is eating, which is fine. It'd be nice if she'd eat on all four quarters. Definitely looks like she's eating on the back right now. But it's a nice day, so I figured I'd let them out, hang out together. And uh, yeah, so so far it looks like things are going well. Dust bath. I don't know if you guys have seen the meme that is going around on Facebook that says, Hey, what kind of farm do you have? And the answer is mud. I have a mud farm. That's what our driveway is right now. It is a mud farm. We went out in the pasture, a lot of the pasture, especially the pigs area, is mud. We need to dry out. I don't think we're gonna get that chance because I think we're supposed to get like an inch of snow a couple times later this week, which will just add to the muddy mess. <laughs> anyway, um, we're out here getting ready to milk me and my little buddy here. Hi. Um, we're gonna go in and milk. Prudy and Hope have been together all day. I just brought over another hay bale. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. There's a hay bale right there. Um, Cause it's supposed to rain, or it's supposed to snow like up to five inches in the next couple days. So the I'm gonna be interested. The other one is tiny. The other hay bale is tiny, yes. I'll show you when it's daylight. I'm gonna be interested to see if Hope has eaten throughout the day and Prudence is not as full or if Hope has just gotten used to the routine and she's gonna be ready to eat now. We'll find out, let's head in there. We'll see her. Hope is right there. I got a flashlight. I can't find the flashlight. I'll probably show you. See, there's Hopey. She's asleep. Um, Prudence is just done. Got about three and a half gallons, which is normal. Uh, I think it was a little bit more evenly distributed between the back two teats. You can see she's still got these little cuts here on her front driver's side. I don't know if she was biting them because they're, they're itchy when she was so full or if Red bit them or something, but I've been putting on um, this Utter Balm that I got, the Happy Cow Utter Balm. So, um, so far so good. It's got vitamin A, D, E, aloe vera, and lanolin, and it's definitely keeping them softer, so hopefully they heal quicker. So guys, things are going pretty well, knock on wood. Um, hopefully we can continue to get hope to eat more and then I can milk less unless I need milk. Long-term goal would be to get to milking one time a day in the morning. The problem with that is that my buddy Chaz who helps me out starts work now really early. So morning milking doesn't work so well for him. We'll figure it out. I mean, ideally, we just get to Hope drinks all of the milk, and then when I need milk, I just separate them and milk the next morning and then leave them back together. That's what I want to get to. As Hope grows, she'll drink more. Today was great because I left them together all day long. Everything was fine. Um, she wasn't particularly hungry when I milked, but I think that's probably just because she was eating all, you know, a little bit all day long, which is good for her. Now, tomorrow morning when I milk, because I've separated them now, She'll be pretty hungry and she'll hopefully milk out that one quarter for me really quickly and that'll make it easier for me to milk out the other three quarters. That's the plan. So if you guys are enjoying this, click on the thumbs up. Subscribe if you've enjoyed the series of videos or go back and watch some old ones. Check us out on Facebook, the Homestead Dad Facebook group. It's a lot of fun. Otherwise, God bless you and your family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.